Jeffrey blames his parents for all of his problems. Don't be like Jeffrey. So when I was younger, I used to always blame my parents for everything. And this even continued throughout most of my self-improvement journey. While yes, it did get better, the fact that I wasn't completely aware of it is what made it keep going over and over. And the cycle just kept repeating itself where I would have a hardship and I would subconsciously blame my parents for the way they raised me or whatnot. And if I say this to my parents, they'll be like, oh no, you never did that. Like, they won't believe it. But I know that I wasn't necessarily taking accountability and responsibility for my own actions. And it's not because I didn't want to. It's because one, I didn't know this was the case. And two, it just was easier to bash someone else rather than taking accountability for your own actions. So I'm making you guys aware of this right now. And instead of blaming them, we should show a little gratitude. But most importantly, we should try and wake them up and tell them the ways of self-improvement. Because I'm sure that your parents do have issues and I'm sure there are certain things about the way they raised you that wasn't perfect, obviously. But if we come to them with a positive outlook and tell them, like, hey, you know, if you, for example, start going to the gym, basically lead, lead by your own example. If you do something, they're more likely to start getting interested in it and just overall consider doing it. And if they start doing it and they realize some sort of growth from it, then they'll just keep doing it. That's usually how these self-improvement practices work. My sister just told me the other week that she just took a cold shower because of one of my videos. And that's exactly the kind of positive change that you want to bring about around you. And that's basically one of the main reasons why I started YouTube as well, because it offers me a platform to just voice my thoughts instead of like having to explain over and over. I can just refer people to certain videos I've made where I explain very in depth over like a 10 minute period the certain thing that I'm talking about instead of like arguing back and forth. And I personally think that when I hear something from a video, I'm pretty likely to take it into consideration rather than if someone is like coming at me with certain information. Like, because if it's a video that they see, they won't realize that it might be directed at them. But if I say it to them directly and like call them out on something, then they might get offended and get defensive. So this is like how to influence people one on one, honestly, but we're getting a little bit off topic. Now, you, we can obviously say that it's hard to influence our parents and try and make them do stuff, but the truth is that once we start taking accountability and stop blaming them for stuff, there'll be very little for them to complain about and they'll have overall uh, more respect for us because we're able to take accountability for our actions and then we can start trying to win them over and trying to better their lives because if we are able to better their lives in some way we also better our own because then we are able to kind of receive the boons of good parenting and these practices can definitely help anyone not just us teenagers so of course it can be hard to influence parents but I want you guys to kind of implement the hat the the methods that you would use if you wanted a material item like 
let's say you were a little bit younger than you are now and you wanted like I don't know a new t a new phone or something suddenly you would become very charismatic and find every way to reason with your parents to get you a new phone you wouldn't just shout at them or be rude what you would probably do is make a deal with them and implement all sorts of other ways of influencing people in order to get the end result you want which is that phone this is just like a very basic example but usually kids are very good at getting stuff that they want from their parents but they're not as good at influencing their behaviors like my my little brother is extremely good at making my dad buy him shoes but if you were to try and influence his behavior you wouldn't listen so it's stuff like this we need to shift our priorities a bit i think that's a given and once we start i think that just overall once we start improving our own life this will come as like a result of that because we'll naturally not want to blame our parents and this also goes for siblings as well like siblings and parents don't blame either of them don't blame your friends take complete and utter responsibility even if it's not your fault and you take responsibility the other person is more likely to say that actually no it's on them because if you like literally try this in the next week whenever a situation arises that you don't agree with take accountability for it and see what the other person does i guarantee you they'll try to walk you off a cliff like back from the edge of a cliff and take accountability themselves because if you're being honest and you're being willing to understand the other side then they will be too whereas if you run at them with all this anger basically what i'm saying here is when looking to influence people especially people that have some sort of authority over you like a parental figure don't act on emotion if you're feeling very angry in the moment wait it out and then just approach when you're feeling clear in the head it's no it's no rush we have all our lives to fix these problems that doesn't mean wait till you know old age obviously if you're watching these videos you're probably not planning on doing that so definitely take action but don't rush into it if you feel like you need a second and the argument's getting too intense maybe just pull yourself out of it and ideally these arguments never even start because you're being conscientious of your own behavior but if you do try to bring them something and they start arguing with you just know that that's just a poor reflection on them and you should probably either say that it's your fault or remove yourself from the situation temporarily and let them figure it out in their own head sometimes you also just need to let people speak if someone just keeps talking i feel like a lot of the times they talk themselves out of whatever they were so passionate about in the first place and start poking holes in their own argument because you're being receptive which builds trust so i know this video is kind of all over the place but i'm basically trying to give you ways in which you can influence those around you starting with your parents and i think the title of the video is wake your parents up and don't you guys think that your parents would like some sort of improvement in their life like why wouldn't they right we all we all love these achievements that we're creating for ourselves and manifesting and all that so why wouldn't our parents they're basically just older versions of ourselves there's no they're still human there's no big difference so even though they have experience and authority over us they might not have the right information because they weren't brought up in the age of technology they don't have access to all these or they do have access but they just don't know where to look like they wouldn't sit and watch ice cold jt videos 
five at a time to try and get all these self improvement tips in our in their head we have to do that and we have to bring them the knowledge that we've received and try and help them and if we try and help our parents overall I'm sure this will make a huge difference in their life so with that being said I think that's basically it for today's video probably a shorter video overall but that's okay next week I will be completely pretty much done with college and we will be very very consistent so hang in there for the next two weeks and then oh baby it's gonna be a whole new wave so i'm looking forward to it i hope you are too and i'll see you soon